morning, gamers! <laughs> hey, fam! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing training whilst reading your assumptions. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I asked you to leave assumptions on my Instagram, and 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 you did. Um, and so I'm going to read them today, and we're going to discuss them. Well, I'm going to discuss them, and you're going to watch. Here we have Gloria. Uh, this is Gloria. Gloria is my friend. Um, she was a very, very expensive friend, but she's she's a friend. Um, so before I begin, I'm just going to let you know that I'm going to leave the names anonymous purely because some, I didn't know if people wanted me to say their names or not. Um, so the first assumption is you secretly find Star Stable boring, but sometimes you tell yourself it's fun just so you will still play it. It depends. It comes in waves for me. I... I... We'll have a couple of weeks straight where I'll play it like solidly because I love it. And then there's, if another game comes out that I really really like, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of play that, and that will kind of make me lose interest in Star Stable. Um, so it kind of depends on what I like. It's like a cycle. It's with the moon. When the moon is full, I like Star Stable. The second one says very very simple. I think you're a dog person. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am a dog person indeed. Um, I don't have a dog. I really, really wish I did. Like, I really wish I did. Um, I want to get a dog when I leave university, so... I would get a golden retriever, in case any of you ask. I would get a golden retriever, because they're just so cute. Okay, the next <laughs> assumption says... You like autumn. What makes you say that? What makes you say that? <laughs> I mean, out of the four seasons, you pick autumn. I mean, if I'm being honest... You can't exactly enjoy summer here in England or winter because it's very, very cold. And in the summer, it's normally raining, so it's not actually like sun. So it's quite hard to enjoy those two seasons. I mean, winter is just the ice age all over again. Okay. <laughs> this next one's making me laugh. You talk. Oh, no! No! Why? You talk back to teachers. So, I would say yes, but never really... As a person myself, I'm not really... Very... I'm not outwardly... Like, I'm not intentionally rude. I'm never an intentional... Intention... Intentionally rude person. Um, I, I talk back to them if they're given, feeding us nonsense. Like, if... They're giving us homework when they know they shouldn't be giving us homework. Then I'll say, Hold on a dang second. You're not supposed to be doing it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I kind of do, it depends. I mean, I'm not afraid to tell a teacher if they were wrong. I'm not like afraid to voice my opinion. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but like I'm not afraid to voice my opinion. So. Ah, ah, where's the race? I'm tired of <gasps> The next assumption says, you're awesome, you're awesome, and you have a horse IRL. No. I don't have any pets. I really wish I did, but we wouldn't be able to properly take care of a pet, which is like, we wouldn't want to take in a pet that we wouldn't be able to properly take care of, if that makes sense. Um, okay. <laughs> this is, okay. I think you have a secret TikTok account. <laughs> I have a TikTok account, but it's not a secret. I do mean... I mean, I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you could find it. I, um, I don't really post on it. Um, I did post my first video I posted. I posted a series of me painting, um, a tree on my wall and it went viral. So I think one of them got 350,000 views, which is really, really cool. So it's not exactly a secret. I mean, I just, no one's really asked. So I just, I guess I've never really told anyone. Okay, you are small, <laughs> you have a dog. Okay, the small bit is very, very, very wrong. <laughs> I'm very tall. Um, I don't know if you can tell from my upper posterior, but I'm actually a very tall person. Um, I'm six foot tall and um, I'm still like not fully grown. So I'm slightly concerned for my future. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not small. I'm. I'm the opposite of small. I'm a sheep. 
Next one is, I assume you can sing. No. Um, no, I, actually, I do do singing. I take singing lessons in real life, but I never really... I've thought, I've thought a few times about... I don't know why I do so many hand gestures, I'll stop. I've thought a few times about um, doing a, like, covers. Like, a trying a Star Stable, like, Lisa Peterson cover. And putting that on here, but... Because um, I'm quite musical, so... I'm also going to be doing some soundtrack covers soon. Yeah, coming soon. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, no, I do sing. Whether I'm any good. I mean, that's kind of a general... Or that's an opinion, rather than a genuine statement. The next one says, you're very good at saving... Oh, ah! You're very good at saving your star coins. Okay, I have two words. No. Okay, the next one says, you're secretly a Star Stable ambassador. No. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I... I try to be a good role model, even if I have the label of Star Stable ambassador or not, because, I mean, I feel like it's a duty to me as an influencer to always be a good role model. And I think that's something I'll probably carry with, me, carry with me for like the rest of my life. So, no, I'm not a star, official Star Stable ambassador. I would like to be, I think it'd be really cool and I'd love to like work with this team. So, Star Stable hire me. You, uh, oh, did, I just keep getting distracted. Why do I get distracted all the time? Okay, you have a pet fox. No, but that would be so cool. See, I don't even know how I adopted the fox, like the fox as my like mascot for my channel. I don't even know where that came from. I kind of just love, I've always kind of, I've never like obviously loved foxes. I just, I've always thought they're really cute. And I kind of felt that it, fe it fit really nicely with like the vibe of April Oakville. So I guess it kind of just, I kind of just adopted it. But I mean, how cool would it be if I eventually... S we need to name the fox, guys. We need to name the fox. What do we name the... Comment a name for the fox. We're gonna name it. Um, you've never sold any horses. No, that's false. I have. Uh, when I was crazy, um, I sold all my old model horses. Like, my old model Andalusians and stuff. Which was totally cray-cray of me. And I kind of regret doing that. Um, Alright, next one says, You love making burnout. Yes and no. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot of work. It's it burnout is a lot of work. You gotta like film the scenes. You gotta do it from a th I do it from a third party angle. So I I get someone else to do it for me. So I have to make sure they're available. Then I have to find the perfect music with the perfect storyline. And then me and Sylvie stay up till the many hours of the night writing the script. And then we've got to send it off to the actors, and the actors are gonna record it. We've got to go through it with the actors and tell them how to like talk it. And then they send it to us, and then I have to put it all together, and then I've got to put on the sound effects, and then I've got to export it, and then I send it to Sylvie to double check and critique it, and then I take it back and I edit it, and then I send it to her again, and she does it again, and then I upload it to YouTube, finally. So it's the long process. When people comment on videos saying, finally, or took you long enough, or whatever, I'm always like, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best here. You know, um... <laughs> Okay, next is someone just says your favorite game is Fortnite. No, no, big no. Um, you hate your Star Stable name. Um, love you by the way. Love you too. Thank you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful that how many years ago did I join? A long time ago. I'm thankful that. How old was I? Eleven year old. I was eleven years old. I'm thankful that eleven year old me was not stupid and picked a half decent name because <laughs> I've always liked it and I've always been thankful that I have it because it's I just think it's a very poetic name and it, it fits a like nature vibe really really nicely um so I've always been really really thankful that I wasn't stupid and picked a really bad name almost all your horses in SSO are max uh Okay, so the next assumption says you think you think training is boring. Actually, yes. 
I'm going to be finishing up now, but I have one more to read, so I think let's find it here. Okay. You record this video sitting in your bedroom in front of a green screen wearing a dark blue and rose top, riding your Andalusian named Pale Ghost in a dark blue and brown outfit with a ginger ponytail at 18pm 18, 18 on the 13th of June.